In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new font to processing and use it. I've already got the program mostly created that's going to use my font, so let's go create it. I'm going to go to Tools, I'm going to select Create Font, and then I'm going to find a font that I like. There you go, that's fun. And I'll set the size to it, I'm going to make it a little smaller. And I'm going to make it a little easier to type. We'll just call snap 40. And I'm going to hit OK. And that creates a font for me to use. Now let's take a look at my program setup. I start by adding a custom font. This is my, it's the whole program. The P font is a processing font. So I'm creating a new object for P font and I'm setting its variable name to font. So it's a font of the variable type P font, which is processing font. So I've got my setup, I'm setting the size of the window and I need to load my font. Well, it's hard for me to remember exactly what they're named. So I'm gonna go into um, show sketch folder and it's gonna be in the data folder. And so I'm going to want to add snap40.vlw. That needs to be in quotes for it to work. So I'm loading the font into the program and I'm actually storing it in the variable font, which we created up here. Now I'm setting that variable to text font and that's going to assign it. Now in my void draw command, I've set my background color and I'm just putting in some plain old text string. A string is any set of characters inside of quotes. So whatever appears inside of the quotes will appear on the screen. And then the 26 and 30 is the X and Y coordinates for the bottom corner of the S. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I have an have an error in here. Oh, that's my error. Let's try it again. I, did, I had a semicolon where I shouldn't have. I do that all the time. There we go. So we've got something clever. Now this doesn't actually quite fit, so we might want to change this to 150 and try it again. A little bit better. Except what I wanted to make, I wanted to make it wider, not taller. Now we could change this to a box to make it wrap. So we can set the height and width of the box starting there. Let's see if we can force it to wrap. So we'll set a box height in here of, we'll make it 250 or 260 by 200. And let's stop and run it again. Not quite tall enough. So make like that 250. And it's common that you're going to have to actually stop and check these a couple of times to make everything fit. There you go, fits in the box. And by putting it inside a box in here, it makes it wrap when it hits the end. So that's how you use your font, create and use a font inside of processing.